got two shadows. Trip down here, this motherfucker. Come out here, shadow box. FaceTime me. Shit. Just kind of work on that balance of it. So, ah, it's beautiful, wonderful. Uh, today's Monday. Uh, we're five weeks out right now, 34 days out from the fight. Uh, Today for a Monday was a fun, yeah, it was totally a fun day, and uh, it wasn't that hard. Uh, we're on a down week right now. Uh, George uh, Santiago gets in town, uh, so it's going to be a whole bunch of technical grappling and just a whole bunch of technique with uh, myself because next week uh, we'll get back into the real hard kick uh, about halfway into the week. So this week's going to be just a fun week, a lot of technique, and man, he's looking good. Just to be able to watch him today, just throw technique and not try to wear his shoulders out and things like that prior. It was really cool to see how fast he's, he really is he's on the balls of his feet. So. It's an exciting point. Uh, we're right where we need to be at this point, and I'm excited for the next stage. <laughs> Time. Wonderful, Justin. Cool down on your own. Today, uh, Monday, just landed to in Denver. We just want to catch up, you know, do a light workout. He already did his, uh, this is, was his third uh, workout. So we just want to see how he's moving. Uh, I want to see his reactions, uh, things that we worked before, so we can address again. Just finding, just to see where he's at. So tomorrow we start doing more of the positions for, uh, for the actual fight. Uh, today we did five rounds straight of uh, sparring and uh, it was kind of a half fun day. You know, go out there, enjoy yourself and not overthink the techniques that we've been drilling. There was one round that I had him uh, working on uh, a new technique and uh, it's really cool to see him because when he has instruction, he's very coachable and, and, and it gives him a target. When I told him just have fun and kind of just do your own thing, it's when he didn't perform. So his best rounds were when he had uh, a technique that he had to dial in. So I thought that was good for him mentally to kind of understand that. And uh, it allows me to, to understand what I need to be there for him as a coach too, to always have a target for him. And, but it was a great day at Spartan. I thought he looked really good. I thought he looked sharp. He pushed the pace. His, his grappling, his scrambles look great. Uh, I, was, I was really impressed with him. And, and he's, he's landing some, some super accurate shots. So his timing looked really good. And then we went straight from sparring. It's about a 30 minute drive over here to Red Rocks. Uh, so we got a little bit of time. His legs were started shutting down a little bit when he took the car ride over here. And he got up here and, and matched his time that he hit, uh, not last Saturday, but the Saturday before. And that's really good because that Saturday, we don't ever do anything prior. So he matched the time even after five rounds of sparring. So. He's really starting to hit that pace. So I thought that was really good. And uh, tomorrow we'll be back to technique. And again, back to pulling back. This was probably the hardest day of the week. And uh, Thursday we got wrestling. And then I think we're going to head up to the hills and do some camping. So George is out here. And George Santiago is out here to, to help out and uh, work on his jiu-jitsu game. And we're going to go up there and show George. He's, he's from Florida. He's from Brazil, but he lives in Florida now. So we're going to go up there and uh, show him some some fun that we do up there in the hills. We'll do some Can-Am riding around and, and camp that night, maybe campfire, get Luke to come out there and entertain us. So uh, it's gonna be a good week. So it's Wednesday, we're headed to Onyx right now. I got my jujitsu coach in town for the week. So we're gonna do some jujitsu. Uh, some technique and then going over some different positions that we need to go over.
get tired, get a good, get, get workout, and then do two rounds of ground and pound. Go home, got Beth coming for lunch. So I'm gonna have some lunch, fresh lunch when I get home. And then I'm gonna go to strength conditioning at Landau Performance. It's kind of a down week over there, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Kind of let my body come back a little bit. Yesterday was a rough one. We had sparring and then went straight to the mountain. Ran Red Rocks. That was a challenge, for sure. See how late Luke is today. Oh yeah, he comes every day. I need someone to beat up. Try to reach my other leg with this hand here. Yeah, give your hand behind my butt. Give to this hand behind the butt. Yeah, so now I cannot. Yeah, uh, exactly. Like Monday, first day I got here, we just did a little shakedown. Uh, it was more for me to see where he's at, you know, the things we worked in the past, and if he's still using it. Uh, the next day was sparring, which was great to see how he does with that with everybody. And today we pick it up a little bit of the game plan, uh, the position we, we, we want to use during the fight. And I think we're in a good, in a good track right now, I know. Uh, very important to have Trevor together uh, so I can give my ideas and uh, we match the same style how we want him to fight. You know, not going away from his natural uh, reactions and nature, how he fights during the, during the time. Uh, so it was a great, great experience. Good turnout. I know uh, Justin's easy to work. He's coachable. Uh, he accepted. He wants to to, to, to apply right away. Uh, so tomorrow is wrestling. The idea is to put a little bit what we did today, and finally on Friday, trying to apply and keep it up the same uh, the same strategy all the way to the fight. So today I think was a great day. We were able to just fine tunes in the positions, together with the ground and pound. Uh, it was a great day. We like it. Use your arm on the ground, <laughs> back. <laughs> just a back workout. Never throw like this. Just a back workout. Back, foot. 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 Back, foot
so you'll, you'll figure it out. So we're going to go to the right here. Oh. And then you're going to go to the left. It's like normal. And then go to the right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, see you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Yeah, you're Amazing. Thank you. Some electric stem, Justin. My backyard, ooh, I just signed the contract today. I'm gonna do an outdoor kitchen, fireplace with the water feature, spot for a hot tub, some blue spruce trees, a uh, bench wall with some flowers, and they're gonna lay the whole thing with some kind of stone. Have this, I'm gonna have this tree removed next week, hopefully. And then by the time I get home from my fight, hopefully my Traeger, and I'm gonna get a Blackstone grill with the built-in air fryer drawers installed into the kitchen. It's gonna be sweet. Yeah, so Thursday, wrestling day. Um, yeah, having uh, having George here, having all the coaches here. I mean, it's uh, it's it just makes everything more real, right? And we have fun together, so it's it's fun when everybody's in the same room. That's what this team is about, and that's kind of what we're recognized for. Is you know we we work hard, we do the work, we're diligent, but we have fun doing it, and and we can joke around. So so that's always that's always fun. Um, Today's practice, really the last two weeks, has just been, uh, you know, drilling some specific positions. But then it's more about more about the uh, the hard work, getting the heart rate high, keeping it high for an extended period of time, and you know, simulating those those situations late in rounds when you got to dig deep, you got to find something, you got to be explosive, and and you got to be ready for one more, right? You got to be ready for the next thing. So that's that was kind of the name of the game today: push them hard, and then. You know, do something else after they thought they were done. So we're good. Oh, 
got done wrestling. Now we're gonna go get off the grid for a night. Drive our Can Ams, hang out as hang out with the coaches, and then come back tomorrow morning and spar. Cook some good barbecue tonight. Yeah, just hang out, hang out in the mountains. We're going like an hour and a half away up in the Rockies. It's gonna be good. So Thursdays is uh, Justin's only day he gets to you know one workout. So we're gonna head up. We got George here in town, George Santiago. So we're gonna take him up, enjoy some uh, mountain time. We're going up to Netherlands. It's supposed to rain all day. So hopefully we can get some tents up. Uh, Luke with Gladiators Unleashed is bringing up his fifth wheel. So we're gonna go up there. Uh, I will at least have a fifth wheel if, if needed. I hope I can sleep in a tent. I like the outdoors, but it's gonna be rainy. We're gonna get wet. We're gonna hit some mud. It's gonna be fun. Two for three. Nice. Nice job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, shit. Damn. Nice. Oh. Oh, my God. This is where things get dangerous. And we become fast teammates.
That that trail's fun because there's a whole bunch of burnt forest over there. So you just gotta fucking get some fun. Oh, there we go. That yeah, motherfucker ready. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Hey, here we go. They like it. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Catch it. I didn't research it until after I bought it. That thing is sweet, I ain't gonna lie. Team cooking right here. We got some potatoes and some asparagus. The asparagus just got done. Whoa! But well, we're having some flare ups because of the butter. Sorry, Beth. Well, Thursday we went camping and man, I was expecting it to rain the whole time. So we got a couple sprinkles, wasn't too bad. Man, we had a blast, we went fast. Uh, it was just great to be able to go out there and have fun and let him just, just relax his mind. You could just really tell it was good for him. Uh, I was in my tent and about 3.30 in the morning, I hear him say, hey coach, I'm going home, I can't sleep. He was in, uh, in Luke's uh, Gladiator's Unleashed uh, fifth wheel. And, he just couldn't sleep. He has ha having allergies, so he said he was gonna go home, and uh, I thought that was a great decision because we needed to sleep. And then Friday, man, he looked so good. This is the best I've seen him in camp look in sparring. He was so sharp. Uh, he went through the rounds like it was nothing. Uh, he he wasn't pulling back. I didn't see any any sign of him fading. He's like he was getting better every round. Uh, so that was cool to see how camping again. He's a different different type of guy. When he can go out there and relax his mind, it like gives him the fire. And then we got up here today and did Red Rocks on a Saturday right now. It's our last workout of the week and uh, he beat his time by uh, a minute 40 seconds, his last run. So man, I'm thoroughly impressed to see where he's at. And then next week and the following week are our peak weeks. So I'm really excited. Now, now I know I can push him and push him to that point. I think we're right perfectly where we need to be uh, for this five round fight, man. And I'm just excited that uh, it's been a great week this week. Having that get up in the, in the mountains, it made everybody feel good. George Santiago was out here uh, with us training. Got to take him to the mountain, shoot some guns, and he got to drive the can -Am. It was just a great team experience. It's too bad we didn't have Ben there with us, but uh, he had a wrestling practice he had to teach. So, man, great week. I'm looking forward to these next hard weeks and getting out to Utah. Killed it. That was a minute and 30 seconds. Better than my last time. Last Saturday was 16.45, and today I did 15.15. So I beat it by a minute and a half. 
which kind of sucks because that means I'm going to have to beat 15-15 next week. And my girlfriend was here running it with me. She said she was going to beat me, so I had to turn on the boosters. Let her know, son. 